and trip just a little bit uh, because, um, well, uh, you know, I've only got 50 followers. <laughs> But I actually have received some questions that people are asking me about the trip. You know, here's here's one thing. You know, like I told you, I'm going to be traveling through some Democrat states. Uh, so I'm going to be carrying uh, my old Marine Corps uh, uh, knife here. I keep it in right next to the driver's seat. Now, somebody tries to carjack the car, I'm hoping I can get to that. And uh, at least I have a weapon nearby. Uh, I'm not sure I go to jail for stabbing somebody trying to steal my car in a Democrat state, but it's possible. I do know if I pulled out a gun in a Democrat state, uh, you know, I'm, I've given the example many times, Kyle Rittenhouse or even the January 6th people that are in jail right now. Um, so I don't want to, I don't want to be packing. I'm not going to be packing on this trip, but I want to show you the, the next big problem. And this is a, hey, Toyota, hey, Toyota, I hope you were listening. So you can see right here, it's not really, it's, it's scratched, okay, because I was loading my, my camping and backpacking gear in. And this is a big flaw with the uh, Toyota Prius Prime. Because you can see, you know, this is where you're going to be pulling your cooler out and you're going to be um, having all your supplies and all of that crazy stuff. And uh, so it's going it, to, you're going to be dragging stuff across this bumper, you know, which I've already done. I mean, look at this. I'm hoping they can, they can repair this on uh, Monday. I'm taking it into the shop. And uh, we'll see. Uh, but uh, you really need some sort of protective. Well, what I'm putting on here is 3M film. Okay. Uh, and uh, so that'll be covering this whole area. So that when I do take out a, you know, a hundred pound cooler or however. I mean, those things get heavy when you got all that ice and everything down in it and the food. Um, but so I'm, I'm going to go sit in my my chair. You know, we'll show you a couple things we're taking on the trip. Uh uh, and I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. I know <laughs> we've been talking about this forever. So this is the Cabela's Alaskan Guide 10. I've done way back. I did videos on that. So that'll be coming along. You know, if I'm going to be in a campground for any period of time, like a, maybe a week, I'm hoping to stay in the Smoky Mountains. Um, you know, big, big problem. You know, now we're getting up into October. Um, and I want to go up into the Great Smoky Mountains again because it was beautiful there. Uh but boy, it's going to get cold at night. Now, look, now look at here. See these seats, and I've showed you in previous videos. They fold down. Okay, so if you've got everything out of the car and in that tent right there, you'll have all of this room. So let's say it's a it's a major storm comes blowing in. Now, could I sleep in that tent? Yeah, I, I and I'm, and I might just do it. But I always have the option, especially uh, first night, when you come into a campground first night. You know, I may have to sleep in the back of this car, and that's a huge advantage of the Toyota Prius Prime over the old Sonata, which just had a trunk. You know, you can't sleep in a trunk. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could if you curled up like a ball in there, but uh, with these, I just fold those seats down, and I've showed you in previous videos that uh, how you do that, and uh, so we're, you know, we're kind of working, you know, I, while we're talking about the Toyota Prius Prime, I mean, this is the charger. I just keep it wrapped around my, my circular saw here. Uh, so, you know, we, we keep going at it, man. We keep going at it. And, uh, you know, nice thing is I can back the car right into the garage and I just plug it in. And then we talked about power. Um, and what I've got is I just have it plugged into a wall outlet right here. And of course this charger will be coming along on the trip. Um, so I can plug it in up at my mom's house in, uh, in Lynchburg. And, uh, and so we'll be, uh, hopefully, I mean, of course, when I get into the forest, you know, I may have to use the gasoline to charge the battery, but like I keep telling telling you, this is the perfect camping vehicle because you've got underneath this mat down here, I'm not going to pull it up and show you, is that huge, huge battery. You know, you've got 25 miles of electrical uh, charge on that battery. And, uh, you know, when I get up into the forest, uh, if I have to charge up my GoPro or charge up this phone or charge up any of my electronics or charge the batteries for my radios, uh, or my Walkman, and you know, you'd be surprised how much electronics you t these days that you take with you on a on a on a huge camping trip. And so, I guess the next portion of this video is going to be me talking about the trip and kind of what I'm expecting because uh, people are asking. They're saying, you know, what? Where are you going? What are you? <laughs> what are you going to do? You know, why is it taking so damn long? 
So we're just going to get into that here in just one second, and we'll talk about that in, uh, for what it's worth. I mean, just, just to show you what, what, what it takes to drive 8,000 miles. So, but this is the latest development, this, this right here. All right, let's get, get, get to my, my chair, my freedom chair, I'll call it. All right, I have spent the last seven hours trying to make this video. Man, and I still am not sure I got the answer. Um, for some reason, well, the external mic wasn't working. And then what was happening with this phone is, I guess the Google Assistant was running in the background. And because, you know, the, the microphone amplifies my voice, it would pop up and then say, how can I help you? I don't need your freaking help. But it was a red herring because then it would go over to uh, welcome to Bixby screen, um, which I tried contacting Samsung's technical support. <laughs> it's practically impossible. And I still may give them a call. You can only call them between like the hours of 8 in the morning till noon. Because I tried using the chat. They say they're available 24 hours a day. And I tried it with Firefox. I tried it with Brave. I tried it with Internet Explorer. And I couldn't, I couldn't type anything into the chat. Um, you know, I know I'm, maybe I'm just technically challenged. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was... Uh, because, I mean, the welcome to Bixby, I thought that was the problem. Because uh, maybe Bixby was running. But I had all the Bixby settings off. And then when I go into Bixby and try to hit the, the voice control settings, it would just switch over and say, welcome to Bixby. It asked me to sign in. And I've never created an account at Samsung. Um, but I have to, you know, I have to get all these things done before I get on the trip. Which is the purpose of this video. So let's, um, well, let's just hit on the fun stuff first. Uh, you know, this is some of the gear. You know, these are, I call these sight shoes. Uh, they're also great for walking across streams if you're backpacking um, or just getting out in the stream and uh, enjoying yourself. Because uh, I just, I, my feet are tender, man. I, you know, I wear shoes everywhere I go. And, you know, I should wear go barefoot a lot more and, uh, and toughen them up. Back when I used to do karate, my feet were pretty tough. This is that bag I was telling you about. I made a video a while back. Uh, you know, uh, with the uh, Alaskan guy tent, uh, which I showed you. And uh, and so down in here, you know, I've got a bathing suit, and I'll be putting all my clothes uh, in this bag. Because, you know, what's happened to me in the past is you throw everything out on a picnic table, and all of a sudden, you know, before you know it, it's pouring down rain. And then and you've got your pillows on the picnic table, you've got your sleeping bag on the picnic table, you've got all your clothes on the picnic table, because you're, you're setting up your tent, for example, you know. And uh, so you got to gather all that stuff up and get it back to the car. Well, this way you can just just leave bags sitting on the table, let it rain on it, just grab the stuff that you, you haven't got in, in bags. And this is great. You can pull this behind a canoe. Um, so I, the, the purpose of this video, and of course, you know, we got a couple of things. In there here, there's a, um, a insect propellant, uh, you know, and these little canisters here. I got, got coffee, instant coffee, uh, some Metamucil. Um, you know, down in here is my, uh, my, my, um, uh, dental kit and the toothpaste, tooth, toothbrush, but I, I guess the main thing, of course, some, some latex gloves, uh, you know, see so there's your toothbrush, it's mainly a backpacking thing, um, but this is called Body Glide, uh, back when I used to backpack, I'd get a lot of chafing, you know, because you, you get all that sweating going on because you're hiking eight miles, you know, and uh, I won't be doing that, I can't do that anymore. That's why I wish in these, uh, like Isle Royale or wherever, if they would put camps, campsites, because, I mean, it's just a forest. So just, you know, all you got to do is cut down a few trees and just put in a couple little camping areas so that you only have to hike about four or five miles rather than hiking eight every day um, so that old people can go backpacking like me. You know, it's just a little uh, game kit. I'll have, uh, I'll have some dice along for Yahtzee, you know, because sometimes you meet people along the way, and I... I print up these little forms so you can play Yahtzee and deck of cards and stuff. You never know. You might meet somebody on the journey. Um, so I guess the, the oh, and of course you got the clothespins uh, for hanging stuff up, but safety pins work just as good. And I've already showed you the parachute cord. So the purpose of this video was somebody asked me, you know, where are you going on the trip? And uh, and and I, I keep, you know, I didn't know what to tell them because it keeps changing, you know. Back when I bought the car, uh, I thought I was going to be leaving in July. And, and in July, you know, you don't want to camp in Florida. It was going to be too hot, you know. 
Um, and so, uh, but we, you know, I've made videos every step of the way. You see what I'm doing, you know. We got the latest problem with the car. I just had the latest problem with this new phone. Uh, I had, oh, the GoPro, I forgot. That's one quick thing I wanted to tell you. I could not figure out how to copy files from the GoPro to the computer. Because uh, when I plugged it in, it would make a sound, you know, beep, 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 you know, you know beep, 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 beep. I think I did that pretty good. And so it, it recognizes that the computer is connected to the GoPro. But unlike the phone, there's no directory that pops up. Now, maybe there's a GoPro app, maybe, that I need to install on the computer. I got the GoPro app on the phone now, uh, with the, you know, and I can establish a Bluetooth connection. Um, so we're still hitting these technical challenges. And so how did I get the files from the GoPro to the computer? I had to pop out the, uh, the uh, sand card, um, which, you know, you take the battery out and you pop the sand card out. And, oh, by the way, I want to show you this. Uh, this is a new addition to the GoPro kit. Uh, my fingers, I can't, I can't grab that little sand card. So I'm going to be taking these, uh, these. Um, this is why you do a, a trial run. You do a trial run on everything, you know, and uh, and so I couldn't get it out. So I'm just going to grab it real gently with these, because then I can get that card out of the GoPro, and because uh, I don't want to damage it. I mean, it's, that, that was 80 bucks, man. And then I just, I have, luckily I have a slot in my computer, it just slides right in, and then the computer does recognize the sand uh, disk card, and then I can copy the files from there. But it, you know, do I really want to go through all of that? I'm hoping I can figure out how to just connect the GoPro up to the computer and just copy it across the little cable that they give you. But uh, we're technically challenged in that regard, but uh, that's not going to be a showstopper. If I have to just take the sand card out and move it over. So, okay, let's get back to the trip. So now we're bumping up into October. I never dreamed it'd be this long. Uh, you know, around the house, I got to blow out the bushes. Uh, you know, I bought a house with lots of rock, and I did not know. I thought the rock would be, oh, good, you know, I've got rock. I don't have to maintain anything. That's that much less grass that you got to cut. No, 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 man. The, the previous homeowners planted all these bushes into the rock, and you got to trim them every couple weeks, and then... And if you leave that uh, debris sitting in the rock, it just turns to dust, and then that becomes dirt. And then that dirt, man, you get weeds, 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 weeds. And so you got to blow all that stuff out of the rock. So that's kind of the next big project around the house. And um, I, I love the shade. I got all these trees around the house, but I mean, every every month or two, I'm going up and blowing the out the gutters. And I've probably cried about this on other videos, but uh, I have to do it because it rotted out the whole roof on the back of the house because what they did was they put a bird cage in and it slopes like this so you got the roof coming down here and you got the bird cage coming down here so if you put one of those gutter helmets on the uh, on the gutter the leaves just sit on top of the helmet which rots your roof out so we, the roofing guys uh, when i paid fifteen thousand for a new roof a couple of years ago they said uh, he said man you don't want these gutter helmets on your gutters he says because the leaves are just going to sit in that trough and rot your 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 uh, roof out. So I got to get up there and blow that out, you know, uh, every every couple, three weeks, you know. Um, it's a pain, but I, lo I love the shade. But I mean, it's the, if I could just tear that bird cage, if I could, if I had the money, I'm not made of money, people. If I could tear that bird cage down and just put, put a roof on top of it that slopes this way so that I could. And then what I would do is I just put a gutter helmet on all the gutters and, and uh, but the thing is, a lot of them leaves, you know, there's they're little teeny leaves. And uh, when I was up in Michigan, you know, I had the whirly birds back then. And uh, they just kind of get down in between those, uh, those, those gutter helmets. You know, just crying. All right, so let's get back to the trip. <clears throat> so how are things changing? I, uh, I do want to go back to that campground in the, um, uh, I think it's called Torrey Pines or something like that. I don't remember. I got a video on it. Uh, it's a state park. It's the highest place in, in Florida. It's in the Panhandle. Uh, and so maybe we'll go back there and, and, and continue hiking those trails because there was a lot of trails there I didn't get in but because it was hot and nasty and I just wanted to move on. Um, and then from there we may go who, go to the um, Talladega National Forest this time rather than Bankhead. Although I might go back to Bankhead because there was some, some good camping in there, I think. Okay, where I camp, you don't want to go there, that, that hunting camp. But uh, So maybe, you know, if we go to Talladega then, or back in, either one, stay in Alabama, maybe a day or two or three and do some hiking. So then we'll be off to the Great Smoky Mountains. Uh, uh, there's another, I'm not going to stay at Cosby again. I've already done that. I wanted, there's another campground on the other side of the mountain. Um, so we're going to, you know, 
I learned my lesson, man. You got to have a reservation ahead of time because uh, they, you know, when I got there, they wouldn't even accept my my cash or my credit card at the gate. They, whoa, we got COVID, and you know, you have to make your reservation online. And I said, well, where the hell? I mean, my phone didn't even have a connection. I'm up in the national forest, you know, and uh, so I had to go all the way out the main gate and and try to get the phone working and the computer. And it took me, I don't know, it took me two or three hours to to get a a reservation in the campground because I had to do it all online. I mean, it's just the stupidity in the world is just something, especially the federal government, let's just say. Uh, of course, we got that traitor Millie up in the White House, you know, and he still hasn't been fired. I don't I don't even know how that's possible. But so now from there, uh, of course, I've got to my mother's house and uh, how long I'll be there, I don't know. Um, you know, I'm hoping to, um, you know, uh, sell some things. She's got some stuff down in the basement, like a piano and a pool table and uh, some furniture, you know, and I'm hoping that she'll let me uh, move some of that stuff out of the house because she doesn't get out in the basement anymore. She can't do it. She's, she's, she's too uh, invalid. Um, hell, maybe she'll even let me get her into assisted living, but I doubt that, you know, I don't think she's ever going to leave that house. So, uh, so then uh, while I'm there, we'll do some trails up on the parkway, uh, hiking, you know, make some videos and then we'll go to, um, uh, I, I, there's a there's a campground in uh, the Jefferson National Forest, and then from there maybe Harrisonburg. If my if my old college roommate will put me up, I'll stop at his house maybe for a day or two, maybe play some tennis or something. And then from there, there's a campground on top of the mountain at Seneca Rocks in West Virginia. So I'm hoping to spend maybe well I don't know I may I may be there a week. I mean, but it's it's going to be cold, you know, up on top of a mountain in October. You know, it's uh, so I got you know that's and that's another thing my my packing keeps shifting right? I was packing for hot weather and that's what I got out right now, but now I got to pack for cold weather, you know, because, well, it's going to be a combination of both. I'm going to have hot and cold, you know, because I'm traveling. And then from there, you know, I might just, you know, call it a, a day at that point or no, or I might go up to Michigan and uh, visit some friends uh, briefly and then go up maybe up to northern Michigan because I know some great places to camp up there, but that's a lot of driving and I'm not sure uh, that'll be worth the trip or not. Um, and then coming back, you know, mainly just going to do hotel rooms, uh, you know, it, but you know, that, that'll get expensive and that's why I got all the camping gear along. Um, but I do have some friends in, in North Carolina and relatives there that I wouldn't mind trying to see if they, if they want to see me. <laughs> Not many people want to see that cybersecurity guy, you know, because uh, I guess uh, my personality or they're just worried that, you know, I make these YouTube videos that, uh, you know, they might want to... Uh, to think, you know, oh boy, we better not invite him into the house. So we'll see, you know, so that's kind of the synopsis of the whole trip. And so you can see where, uh, why this has taken, you know, me months and months to plan, you know, selling a car, buying a car, you know, get a new computer a while back, uh, the new phone, the, uh, the GoPro, um, you know, all the technical challenges we've been facing, just making videos on this phone. Uh, that, you know, like I said, the external mic wasn't working and it kept popping up with that welcome to Bixby and the assistant was running. I think that's what it was, was the Google assistant was running in the background and just waking up. And I, you know, I didn't even know how to cut it off, man. I, you, and you, oh man, don't get me started. All right, so let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Peace out. Oh, you know what? I just want to say, uh, you know, I'm going to be going through some Democrat states, and uh, uh, I just, I love being here in a Republican state with my, our Governor DeSantis, and, you know, shout out to him. I think he's the, the, he's the, he's the cat daddy of governors, and uh, thank God we have him here, because uh, we, all our, rest, all our small businesses are still open, and all our restaurants are open, and I'm not trying to to bring people into Florida because I don't want people here. You know, it's just getting too crowded. There's so many people moving in. Um, but you know, the people are fully in the Democrat states and, and I just hope they're not bringing their politics here to Florida. And that's uh, we'll finish it off right there.